OK, so in this question, we've got an indefinite integral of x plus 4 over the square root of this quadratic, 2x squared plus 16x plus 34, all with regards to x. Now, you notice indefinite integral, we've got no boundaries of integration. OK, so what we're going to do here? Well, I've got a quadratic term in the denominator and a linear term in the numerator. Maybe there's something I can do here to try and get a logarithmic result because I've got x squared here and just x here. So let's see what we can do with the denominator first and just see where it takes us. So that's a good classic way of trying to solve integrals. So let's go with that. So I've got the integral x plus 4 over square root of this. Now, what we're going to do with that? Well, I can take the 2 out for a start because that's 16 and 34. So I can take a 2 out straight away. So that'd be my first thing to do. So I've got x squared plus 8x plus 17. OK, and then obviously my dx. Right, now, what I can see, I've got x plus 4 and I've got x squared plus 8x. Now, I know if I take the square of this, I will get an x plus 4 out of this somewhere. So that is going to be my next place to go. So now I've got the integral, x plus 4, so that takes care of that. Now this square root of 2, I've taken out of the quadratic. What I can do is I can bring this out to the front, and that square root of 2 will be on its own outside of here, but the reciprocal of. So I'll have 1 over root 2, and then I've got x squared plus 8x plus 17. Now that's still in the radical, I've not lost the radical just yet. Now let's take the square of this. So I'll have x plus 4x squared, so x plus 4 squared. And I'll have to now subtract 16, because I've got 4 fours of 16 here, if I uh, follow that one out. So subtracting 16 from here and adding 17, I'll have plus 1. OK, so now I've got the x plus 4 and the x plus 4. So now I've come to a bit of an end of to what I can do without the use of substitution. So let's do that first. Now let's try something different here because I've got x plus 4 squared plus 1. Now that looks like if I can get a trig substitution in there, I may be able to get this radical outside, uh, away from this uh, integral. So let's do that. So let's let x plus 4 equal tangent u. So x plus 4 equals tangent u. So if I do that, I'll have tangent squared plus 1, which will give me a trig identity. So let's stick with that. So x plus 4 equals tangent of u. Let's get this x on its own and do our setup a little bit different to the normal. So that's tangent. Let's just write that tangent of u minus 4. OK, now... Let's take the derivative on both sides, and I can get this minus 4 to disappear now by doing it this way. So now I'll have dx equals, derivative of tangent is secant squared. So that's going to fall in our laps really nicely, because the trig identity coming here is going to lead us right into the right path. So that's what my dx is. My x plus 4 becomes tangent u, as will that one. So let's do that. Let's get this in terms of u now. So 1 over root 2, integral, x plus 4 is tangent u. And then we've got the radical there with x plus 4 squared, which will be tangent squared u. So let's put that in. And then just the 1. And then my dx is secant squared u. So I'm going to just write that in the top there, and then my du. OK, now things are looking good here now because now I can see the trig identity right in front of me. Tangent squared u plus 1. So tangent squared u plus 1. So let's write this trig identity in terms of u. That's going to give me secant squared of u. So now I can just change that for secant squared and I've got a secant squared in here. So let's just do that. So 1 over root 2 tangent u secant squared u and then here let's do this uh, two steps here secant squared u 
that will be substituted in there by this trig identity, but then it's in a square root, so then I would just be left with secant of u. That's secant of u and then du. Okay, well, that will cancel out with one of these, so let's rewrite that. So 1 over root 2, the integral, tangent u and secant u. And then that's just du, because that's going to be cancelled and one of those is in. So that's my integral there. Let's just leave it as a fraction for now. Okay, so now tangent u, secant u. Now, I'm not going to integrate that because I know that the derivative of secant of u or whatever variable we care to choose, it's going to give me tangent u, secant u. So by the fundamental theorem of calculus, if I integrate that, I will get back to my derivative of secant. So then this is simply 1 over root 2 secant of u and then the plus c. But we can't go there just yet because I've got to put my u back in. Now what is my u? I've got to isolate it from in here. Well to do that I'm going to need to take the inverse tangent of both sides. So then I'll have uh, inverse tangent of x plus 4 equals u just by that step there. So then what do I get now? is 1 over root 2 secant of the inverse tangent of x plus 4 and then at the end of that I've got my plus c and that will take me to the end of my result of my integration. Okay.